Hey guys, welcome to Water Baby Tarot. This is the Capricorn reading for the first half of December for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So guys, as always, I'm gonna jump right into it. If you're new to tarot, don't understand tarot, don't understand how energy works or energy work works. I really did not mean to make that like a weird ass joke. Anyway, uh, there's a link below called How to Interpret Tarot Readings as a Viewer. So please should go ahead and check that out before you go ahead and jump into this reading, especially if it's your very first one, okay? So Capricorns, the meditative session was really simple, really clear cut. It felt very similar to the last reading I did for you. So it seems like those energies are really playing out here, okay? Um, oh, so I was about to tell you what I saw and then they added on something onto it the second I like went back to that little flash. So it was actually really sad what I saw. It's like I saw a swan in a big giant pond and like they just went from one side to the other and they just like and, and like, you know, like a swan, like, you know, imagine like a swan head and they just kind of like, they do that sink down thing. Like actually, you know, birds are really fascinating. Birds actually have like quite a bit of emotion. Well, some birds do. Anyway, not going there. I'm, whoo, I'm really ADD right now with my words. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm wanting to jump all over the place. Okay. So hang in there with me. Don't get lost yet. So yeah, that's what I saw. I saw a big pond and like one swan swimming, pedaling swim pedaling whatever you know going from one end of the pond to the other and like slowly sinking down into that and it was night um someone's really in their emotions it does honestly feel a little bit like depression okay um this could be you it could be someone that you're connecting with keep in mind it's just why i pick up intuitively before we even get started and touch the cards okay um i feel like this energy i almost want to say ignored to be honest is getting ignored or has their back there's an energy that has their back turned to this energy. Um, whether they're aware of this other, we'll call them the swan, male or female, doesn't matter. Whether they're aware the swan is depressed or really sad or not, um, their back is turned to them, okay? And it's it's kind of, oh, that sucks. Um, I feel like one energy is so depressed, so sad, secretly or not. And the other energy is is kind of going off into new things. It feels very much like this other energy is looking forward, very clear headed, and also very very balanced with their emotions and their headspace, like their heart space and their headspace. Very very balanced right now. They're sitting in both fairly equally, is what it feels like. Um, very much like lovers kind of decisions, but not like head over heart. Like actually, really taking both into account, like how this person feels and what they think is logical as far as making decisions are concerned. And it feels like they're in a full energy, like they're just going off into whatever it is. They're looking forward to and this other energy is like sitting at the other end of the pond like very somberish okay it's a little intense it's a little intense and when i was going back to what i when i first was tapping back into what i was given in the meditative session i did hear swan song now i know that's supposed to be a reference i don't totally understand it i know it's a reference though i feel like i should know it i know it's like isn't it the the ballet thing Wow, I'm sounding so, so ignorant right now. Um, you know, the ballet thing. Um, oh, I'm so ignorant right now. You guys know what I'm getting at. So a swan song, I know there's a very specific meaning to it. So intuitively, is it like martyrism or something? But I feel like that feels wrong. Um, or it's like someone's exit right isn't it like someone's exit but i don't know why i feel like a little hint of martyrism to it it feels wrong to me to say martyr but i'm feeling that for some reason i'm feeling martyrism attached to that but i don't think that's innately what that meaning what that phrase is about but i don't know why i'm feeling that i just am so there you go that's what i'm feeling um but definitely about an exit right yeah an exit with a little splash of martyrism okay anyway Let's get into the pre-shuffle, okay? Uh, like I said, very simple. Very, very simple, very clear cut. I'm using beautiful creatures for you guys. I don't use this too often as a primary because it's big and I have small hands, just being totally honest with you. Um, but it is a really beautiful deck. And when I felt that somber energy, it was like, oh no, I'm using that deck because it is very like, you know, a little fun dark. Why do I have such weird words with you guys today? Um, I feel like my vocabulary has just been dumbed down. This is very strange. Anyway, Capricorn, let's get into this. Ooh, please bring forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. They are showing me the devil card, but it is your card, okay? I'm not too worried about that. I think you're just really in your energy, Capricorn, especially um, coming into your season relatively soon here. Not to mention we got a lot of, a lot of Capricorn placements going on. A lot. A lot. Especially going into February. February is going to be like a new Capricorn season in and of itself. Anyway, 
Please bring forward any messages of truth, feeling, and love for those who need it. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. School? Why is school coming in? School should be getting out. That's weird. I almost got like a back to school kind of energy. Oh, someone's learning some really harsh lessons. That's what that is. Okay. Someone's going back to school. Well, soul school. Okay, that's weird. They literally just told me soul school. Okay. So someone's going to be experiencing a little bit of karmic backlash. It was a little early for that, actually. So I, I'm feeling for this person or, you know, group of people here. Please bring forward any messages of truthling and love for those who need it for cap. Well, actually, that means they can clear shit up quicker before they get thrown into the washing machine I talked about earlier this morning. Please bring forward any messages of truthling and love for those who need it for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Okay, that feels really good. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love. Some of you guys could be going back to school, like actually picking up a new study. Ooh, eight of wands in a verse, Sag energy. Keep in mind, this is just the pre-shuffle here, okay? Well, I feel like this is blockages. Mm. Oh, oh, that felt really, that felt really weird. Um, oh, you know how like you're in a vehicle or like a plane or a ship or something and like I just heard rudder oh okay this is interesting some of you guys might actually have this issue I can't imagine it's that many of you maybe like honestly one person something with rudders are like breaking down really hard like you know when like something like that happens it's like it's everything's very jolting that's what I'm getting with that with this eight of wands in reverse someone's reality has been jolted someone's reality has been jolted I feel like it's the somber energy oh that felt really weird Closing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Closing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of December. Oh, and I'm just noticing the image. Oh, doesn't that just say it all? There's your swan slash pink kitty oh someone's li literally their reality is being jolted they don't know they don't know how to cope with whatever's happening it feels a little bit like a tower moment why do i feel like they should have seen this coming though yeah my guards yeah my guards are telling me they should have seen it coming but for them it's very unexpected they've probably been in denial quite a bit please import any messages of truth healing and love for those who need it for capricorn sun moon rising venus and jupiter for the first half of December. Wow, they don't want to really give me any more. Okay. Let's see what else I can pick up. Please bring forward any messages of truth, feeling, and love for those who need it for Capricorn. Yeah, they keep showing me a swan. A swan is a very, like, amazing kind of a creature, you know, when you think about it. Like, they're very graceful, but they're very aggressive. Graceful, but very, very aggressive. They're a little scary. I've seen them attack children. I really have. And, like, Actually, to be okay, to be completely frank, it's a little funny. <laughs> it is a, it is a little funny. It is a little funny. Um, swans represent having a lot going on under the surface. You know, a lot, a lot of emotional shit, which is exactly excuse me, which is exactly what the somber person is is dealing with. Um, sometimes it's also indicative of like a mere soul. I don't really resonate too much with that meaning for swans, but I do really resonate for it on an emotional level with it on an emotional level. <sighs> wow. Nine of swords in reverse. Gemini energy with the two of pentacles, Capricorn energy. Someone's making a decision to um, drop whatever worries they have, whatever is making them anxious, whatever situation it has, it has not been serving them. I feel like this is the energy that's going off into the new definitely going off into the new and really jolting and putting this swan slash kitty in a jarring sense of like almost like a reality check like a jarring sense of reality here yeah someone has been yeah it's I, I feel this is a very feminine energy who's doing this it doesn't have to be a female but it feels very feminine it feels very soft it feels very uh receptive very intuitive However, this person is very, very intuitive. They know they have to. Oh, this sucks. This really sucks. They know they have to. This is going to be indicative of the energy that we're going to be experiencing, by the way, because we are dealing with so much Capricorn energy. So, I mean, I always talk about this, especially because the eclipse is going to be in Capricorn as well. The new moon eclipse Cap in Capricorn on the 26th. Um, we're already in the pre-shadow for it. So everybody should be watching Capricorn readings. I know if you're already watching it, you're already watching it. I don't know why I said it here. Anyway. 
this person knows they have to to maintain balance in their life they can't live with anxiety anymore they can't live with uncertain with not necessarily uncertainty because i feel like they're actually walking into the unknown to be honest with you they just can't sit here i i feel like someone might even say that like i like i just i just can't be here anymore or i i just can't do this anymore someone's realizing they could have it a lot better and it's jarring the other person it's jarring them okay oh let's go right ahead and get into the main messages here so for anybody who's new to my channel new to tarot please know messages are very general they're not for everybody they can't be for everybody so if it's not your story don't get mad don't get upset just ain't your story for this week okay um please so show support for those whose story it actually is all right um, also, guys, we are working with energy, so energy is fluid, so messages can be reversed or vice versa. Don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing's gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. This is for the first half of December, but time is not linear. Um, so whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it. And yeah, let's get right into it. Keep it high vibe, guys. I don't know why I feel the need to say that. Keep it high vibe. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love for the first half of December? Any messages for Capricorn regarding love? Wow, I'm getting better at shuffling these <laughs> for the first half of December. Okay. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love for the first half of December? Any messages for Capricorn regarding love for the first half? Oh my. Queen of Pence in reverse with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Both water energy and then we have Libra and Cappy here. So your court card is out here on the board. Why does this make me feel nauseous? Mm. I feel a major lack of confidence actually with this energy. I feel like it's the same person. I feel like these two queens are representing the same person. <sighs> Lacking confidence because there's a lack of clarity. But the clarity's there. The clarity's there. Hold on, guys. <coughs> <coughs> As my throat chakra becomes angry. Mm. Mm. Clarity is there. This person's not seeing it. Oh, motherfucker. Hold on. <coughs> mm. Mm. This person's not seeing it. Oh, we got some hard truths that need to be spoken, guys. So my feminine energies, um, this is what's this is what feels like to me. Like I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what to do because nothing's clear. I don't understand. <clears throat> what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? But I feel like the answers really are there. <clears throat> oh fuck! It's <clears throat> oh, it's not wanting to accept the truth. It's not wanting to accept. Oh my god. <clears throat> It's not wanting to accept the truth. Mm. Someone's afraid to accept the truth here. And it feels like my feminine energies. Oh my God, I need to get out of that shit. Any other messages for my Capricorns? Any other? Come on. The chariot. Can't Syrian energy. This feels like a move. Some of you guys could actually be moving here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, or just traveling. But this this is making, yeah, no, it is. It's making some serious moves. And I feel transformation behind this as well. Something that is new. Something that's new. Yeah, it is exactly what I was feeling with the feminine energy I was picking up on. Having the confidence to accept the truth, whatever the truth is for you, that maybe it's time for something new. It's time to leave some shit behind. It's time for decisions to be made. But I feel like feminines, once you accept this truth that you're having a hard time accepting, you're actually going to feel really free. You're going to feel really free and really liberated. Any other messages for Capricorns? Oh, that's a buttload of cards, but we'll take them. Oh, it's not that many. These cards are just really thick. Oh, we've got the Empress Venusian energy and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse Virgo. Could also be Earth or Fire. And then we have the Page of Cups. Why, I just heard Pisces. I just heard Pisces really, really, really strong. Yeah, I, ooh. Again, it's it's the same thing. I'm not wanting to accept the truth. Page of Cups is honesty. With the Empress and the Knight of Pentacles in a verse, that's not wanting to move forward towards honesty. Not wanting 
excuse me, to make a move because you know the truth. You know whatever move needs to be made is going to be hard. <clears throat> oh, it's going to be hard and it might even, you know, come with a lot of heavy emotions. You know that, feminines. You know that, which is why you're, you don't really want to look at the truth right now. You don't really want to, but you, you need to. You need to, okay? Any other messages? Any other messages for my Capricorns? And now we've got a king. Ooh, two of swords in reverse with the king of wands in reverse. This is a moon and Libra energy. This is Leo. Could also be fire or air. This is, uh, someone's made a choice. Em Empresses, my female energies, you've made a decision here. And it's in regards to whoever this masculine energy is, okay? And they're not happy about it. They're not happy. And it's interesting because, feminines, you are lacking confidence in knowing what the truth is and accepting the truth, even though you already know what it is. You already know what it is. And it's time for new, it's time to make moves, it's time for the new, and whatever decision you're making is affecting someone else who's really lacking confidence as well. It's both, both of you guys are running on fear. Both of you guys are running on fear. Any messages for Capricorns? For the first half of December? Eee. Any messages for Capricorns regarding love for the first half of December? Yeah, any messages for Capricorns? <clears throat> Very similar to the last reading I did for you guys. <coughs> Hangman in reverse. Piscean energy. Yeah, again, they should have known, but it's a surprise to them. Oh, mother. <sighs> they should have known. They should have seen it coming. They should have seen it coming, but they kept themselves blind. Both of you guys are marrying each other a little bit. They kept themselves blind because they were too afraid to accept whatever the truth is. You were afraid of what of accepting the truth and making moves accordingly. It's the same. It's just manifesting a little differently. And whatever choices you're making, it is to make moves into the new here, even though it is facing uh, some, some truth that it's like, God, I really don't want to go there. I really don't want to go there. But the truth is the truth, right? And whatever decision this is, it's making this person very unhappy but they know they should have seen it coming. Overall energy, we do have Nine of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy. Underneath that, we have the Sun. Wow. And then we have the Eight of Wands up right here, okay? So the Sun with the Eight of Wands, this is definitely about going off into the new and getting there fast. Nine of Cups in reverse. <clears throat> it's also illuminating the disappointment. There's a lot of disappointing energy going on here. I feel like both parties are very disappointed. Very disappointed, but moves are being made and it's time. It's time that something move here. I feel like there's been a lot of stagnancy. And this feminine energy is realizing at first that they're, they're the ones making this move. Because someone has to. Someone has to. And this masculine energy is really not happy about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Wow. Where to even start? Where to start? Well, let's look at the making of the moves here, okay? Let's look at the making of the moves. Let's look at the chariot. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me use right away for this one. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot for Capricorn. For the first half of December. Tell me about the chariot for Capricorn for the first half of December. Sorry, my computer. <laughs> um ew, really? Getting a download here. Um, what I feel pregnancy with this? The Empress is screaming pregnancy at me all of a sudden, like almost like not wanting to, like not wanting to say to someone that I'm pregnant. Yeah, it's almost like not wanting to reveal a pregnancy. That's interesting. Um, that's got to be only for a couple of you. If that's the, if that's the case, why wouldn't you say it though? Why wouldn't you say it? Okay. For those who that applies to, you already know, okay, that if you're the empress and you're not wanting to communicate about a pregnant pregnancy, are you, mm, I don't want to, okay, I don't want to go down that road because it feels really personal and it's like it would only be you who'd know what's going on in your head and we don't got to go there because it's your own business, right? You don't need me to tell you what's going on in your own head here, okay, if you're in that situation. But if you're in that situation, you know what I'm talking about. Um, not my business. I just, I feel, I feel like I can't go further down the rabbit hole. I know exactly what's going on there. 
I don't feel like it's it's my I don't feel like it's my business. Anyway, time of the chariot. Time of the chariot for Capricorn for the first half of December. Time of the chariot for Capricorn for the first half of December. They're bringing it back to that pregnancy thing. I, I really feel like it's like almost not my business to say this, but some of you are resonating with this. There might be um, a situation here and it can be vice versa or, you know, just keep in mind it can't, this reading can um, resonate for people who are around you or in your energy field. Okay. And not just you specifically. I am feeling for some that there's a pregnancy where it's like, I can't say it because if I say that I'm pregnant, it's obvious who it's not, like who it doesn't belong to. Okay. So I want the chariot. So I'm at the chariot for Capricorn for the first half of December. So I'm at the chariot for Capricorn for the first half of December. Two of Wands. Yep, making that choice. Feminines, you're making that choice to go on a path here because it's time. It's time a, a choice be made. Tell me about the chariot. A lot of movement here. So you guys could actually be moving locations. Wow. Yeah, five of pentacles. Wherever you've been, feminine energies, it has not been fun, okay? Some of you could have been struggling financially. I do feel it's more of an energy of constriction. It's an energy of constriction, loneliness, and confusion. You're tired of being confused. You're tired of being confused. You're not going to stay here anymore. It's like I feel a little bit of like having to abide by this king of wands a little bit, and you're not playing that game. You're not playing that game anymore. Tell me about the chair. Whoa, okay. Yeah, hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. You know exactly what you want. You know that the situation is not serving you. You know it's not getting you anywhere. And you know it's inhibiting your growth. And you want to grow. It's a hard thing to do. It's a hard, honest, it's a hard truth to accept. Because some of you are really committed to this king. Some of you could be married to this king. Some of you could have been with this person for a long time. But you're like, yeah, I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. Tell me about the chariot. Some of you were, this is someone you were waiting on. And don't tell me you weren't waiting because clearly you were. Okay, and I get it. We've all done that. We've all made that mistake before. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot for Capricorn for the first half of December. <clears throat> yep. Again, decisions, two of pentacles in a verse. You know exactly what decisions you want to make, and you know what moves you want to make now. Overall energy, like I said, Queen of Swords, you're doing it very clear headed. You knew the answer all along. You were just afraid to accept the answer, but you know the answer. Interesting. Underneath that, we do have Ace of Pentacles here. For some of you, you're going to have to drop some money to make this move happen. Even if you're already struggling financially, don't worry. The universe will take care of you. Again, you're also realizing wherever you've been has been very unstable. Very unstable. Hasn't been serving you. It's felt really constrictive. It's felt really constrictive like you can't move. Oh, ooh, for some even can't breathe. Interesting. For some even can't breathe. You're heading in the right direction. Okay. <clears throat> I'm so afraid to look into this empress. I keep feeling those pregnancy vibes of like not wanting to be honest and say like, look, I'm pregnant. That's so not for most of you. It's like only for a couple of you most likely. And then maybe just one of you where it's like, I can't say that I'm pregnant because it's obvious like it doesn't belong to this person or that person. Um, and hey, it happens. It happens. You're not going to get any judgment from me. Okay, it happens. It happens. I'm more curious about this king at this point. So there's two of swords in a verse, the king of wands in a verse, and then um, the hangman in a verse. Like I said, it's like they should have known, but they're surprised. Let's look at this actual king here. <coughs> oh, man, all the need to be honest. All right, I'm going to use cosmic for this one. Oh, I just got really lightheaded. Let's try with the king of wands in a verse. Let's try with the king of wands in a verse. Capricorn for the first half of December. Now the King of Wands universe for Capricorn. God, is this Empress crying? It kind of looks like it. It looks like this Empress is crying. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hold on. Maybe. Maybe not. Focus. Maybe. Oh, come on. All right. Well, she's crying. <laughs> she's crying. I promise you. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Time of the King of Wands in reverse. Time of the King of Wands in reverse for Capricorn for the first half of December. Time of 
Tone of the King of Wands in reverse for Capricorn for the first half of December. Ooh, yeah, Queen of Swords in reverse. So <clears throat> I was going to say, not a whole lot of honesty going on here. And mostly because um, both have been acting out of fear. And this feminine energy is getting out of that fear by making moves. And that's how you make fear go away. It's like you just start making shit happen. Like, if you're afraid about something, just try it. Just do something. Just do something. Don't just sit there in fear. Like, just do something. Like, do anything. That will make your fear go away real quick. So I have the King of Wands in reverse. Justice. Libra energy. Oh, oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that feeling. I don't like that vibe. It felt very smug. I got a bit. Oh, look, King of Wands on the bottom. Yeah, I got a real smug energy off of that. So I have the King of Wands in reverse. We're looking into that shit after this. I think that feels super smug. <clears throat> Interesting. Princess of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> oh my god. Equivalent to the Page of Wands in reverse. Which is like bad news. Also like gossipy energy. Yeah, this feels really low vibe. This person feels very low vibe right now. Like almost like in response to this feminine going off into wherever it is they're going off to. Whatever movement they're making. Whatever choice they're making. It's like... They're acting kind of like a child in response, like very smug, very low vibrational. Might even say some nasty shit. Tell me about King of Wands in reverse. Tell me about King of Wands in reverse. Tell me about King of Wands in reverse for Capricorn for the first half of December. Um. Yep. Because they feel defeated. That's why they're acting out. Five is swords excuse me with the two ones in a verse this decision feminines that you're making they feel very defeated by it they feel very defeated by it and they might even like i said be a little smug with you or say a little this side or the other to you over energy we do have five of cups that sadness that's that utter sadness for some they've been depressed for a while and you've known that Six of Swords in reverse underneath that. Wow, with the Eight of Cups in reverse underneath that. They're having a really hard time getting over this. Seven of Cups, confusion, and a little bit of uh, mental illness. <clears throat> uh, I'm getting like negative fantasy. They indulge a lot. They indulge a lot in like negative fantasies. Um, and whatever this decision is, feminines, it's pushing them further into that. And that's not your responsibility. Sorry, I feel like some of you guys just talked to me. That is not your responsibility. That's all on them. If they want to indulge in those kind of emotions and those feelings and they want to go be a child about it, they want to be immature about it, depressed or not, that's their decision, okay? I know I probably sound like a bitch right now, but it is. It's their decision. Uh, let's go ahead and look at justice because that's where it's swing the smugness from them. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm like, what deck do I actually want to use? I want to use Lenormand here. Let's do Lenormand. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice for Capricorn. Tell me about justice for Capricorn. The anchor. Nine of Swords energy. This is being stuck. And what did I say? That's the theme of this whole thing. Feminines, you don't want to be stuck anymore. You don't want to have that lack of growth. They want to keep you stuck. They want to keep you stuck. Well, that's not going to work. Tell me about justice. I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time feeling for this person. I'm just being honest with you. I'm having a really hard time feeling for them because I can feel the smugness. <clears throat> and I can feel feminines. This is a really hard choice for you. It is. You have a hard time facing the truth. You face the truth. You accept the truth. And it's like, okay, I've got to make this move. I got to make this decision. It fucking hurts to do this. It sucks to do this, but I have to do it for me. And they respond with smugness. Like, I just, I'm sorry. Just not down. Wait, didn't I get a peeker? Hold on. Oh, nope. So we've got the garden, which is a communal energy. Eight of swords. Eight of swords and the nine of swords. So that's what I'm saying. They're going to be acting out very childish. But deep down, it's because they know that they're stuck. They're stuck where they are. They're stuck where they are. For some, there's even like a tie to family. I don't know what that's about. Like being too tied by family. Tell me more about justice. <clears throat> Tell me more about justice for Capricorn for the first half of December. Wow. Oh, smuggity, smug, smug, smug. 
the mice, annoyances, pests. This is a pest energy with the seven of wands, defensiveness. Yeah, smug. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. Yeah, smug for days. <clears throat> smug for days. Yeah, this justice card, it's like you're clearly doing the right thing. Your feminine energies, you're balancing out the scales in the right way because that you're basically getting out of a situation that's a karmic loop, okay? That's essentially what you're doing. And they're they're being so fucking smug about it. <clears throat> so smug about it. Over energy, we do have the house. Oh, interesting. Wow. Yep. Mm-hmm. With the female, the clock, and then the, the sickle? The sickle. Clock is usually indicative of divine timing. Like, there's a window of time at play here. And for some of you, like I said, you're moving homes. We have a lot of movement energy here. This could be someone you would share a home with. This could be someone um, that you're married to, even. <clears throat> you want to be comfortable, feminines. You want to be comfortable and you want to have growth. And you know, it's only a matter of time to do what you got to do to cut out the shit that needs to be cut out and to cut out the karmic loops that need to be cut out. And as hard as it is to make this choice, they're smug in return. It might even make you feel a little bit better about making your decision, if I'm being totally honest. 3113, I looked at the phone. <clears throat> okay. That being said... It's very clear what's going on here. Feminines are going to a much better place, a happier place, a place of freedom and liberation. This person's going to sit in the pond for a while, okay? Um, I'm actually going to... I've been really into the, using the goddess deck lately for weekly, so let's go ahead and use this one. I do like to read the descriptions as well, and even if you're a man and it resonates for you, you can still use this goddess energy as a god. Just saying. Okay. <clears throat> and or just take it as advice, right? What energy would be beneficial for my Capricorn Star Harness for the first half of December? What energy would be beneficial for my Capricorn Star Harness for the first half of December? What energy would be beneficial for my Capricorn Star Harness for the first half of December? <clears throat> What energy will be beneficial for my Capricorns to harness? Let's see what we have here. Wow. Oh my God. Golden opportunity. I can't pronounce that one. <laughs> I'm terrible at pronouncing the goddess's names, guys. I'm just being honest with you. Uh, Yamania? Yamania. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Walk through them. Don't stay stuck. Maeve. I think that's how you say that, Maeve. Cycles and rhythms. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. Get out of the karmic loops. Okay? All right. So let's see what other ones want to come out here, and then we'll go ahead and read these. I like to read these ones because I think the descriptions really help you guys a lot, more so than my own interpretation of them. What other energies do my Capricorns need to harness? Oh, Wow. Okay. Ever since I like got back from Sedona, I'm getting more galactic stuff. Some of you guys are, um, how do you say that? Oh, I forget how you say that group of people. Um, the dolphin people, the whale people. There's a galactic race. I think it's an N. N as in Nancy. Noom, Noomba? Is that how you say it? I think that's how you say it. Anyway, some of you guys really resonate, or like, it's based like the mermaid race as well. Some of you guys really resonate with that. Okay. Oh, I love the bottom. Can I just show you the bottom too? Aphrodite. We'll just read this one too. Aphrodite and her goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Oh, I know we all feel that one. Hold on a second. Clyde. No, sorry. He's acting out. Okay. Let's go ahead and read these off. Ooh, I just cracked my back. I'm not used to doing that. I'm going to read these in order. Clyde, I love you. Please stop please. Okay. Aphrodite, inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Allow your inner, your inner feminine wisdom and dynamic beauty to rise to the surface. Cherish its power and meaningfulness. No matter, no, wow. <laughs> no matter whether your physical body is male or female, you have an inner femininity that nurtures you. That's right, men. That's right. Uh, you, and, wow. Well, I don't know what's wrong with my mouth. I don't know. And guides you with its intuitive principles. Now is the time to become aware of, take excellent care of, and celebrate your magnificence. Magnificence? That sounds so weird. Balance your male energy with more female energy. 
Take steps to heal your sexuality. Enjoy being feminine. Dance more often. Be receptive. In relationships, allow your softer side <clears throat> to come forward. Don't hide your femininity. Dress in more feminine ways, for example. Aphrodite is the Greek goddess of passion and love who's associated with the planet Venus. Aphrodite names Aphrodite's name means foam born. As legend says that she sprang from her father Uranus's castrated genitals which were cast into the ocean. Oh my, I did not know that was a story. What a visual. Wow, <laughs> that is quite the visual. I'm sorry. I'm like, now I can't stop seeing it. Uh, thus, Aphrodite represents un... un this is embarrassing. Unabashed? Unab that's a weird word. Uh, un unabashed, I'll say. Fe uh, female sexual energy. Aphrodite helps women feel comfortable with their bodies and sexuality. She helps both genders to experience more passion in their relationships and become more balanced as far as individual male female energy is concerned. I swear, guys, I'm, I'm, I am fairly intelligent. I swear. <laughs> okay. I believe that's how you say it, Maeve. I could be wrong. Um, honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. All of life is cyclical. The moon, the stars, and the very universe. Life inhales and exhales again. So why should you be surprised or upset that you too have cycles? There are times when you feel energized, awake, and alive. There are other times when you feel isolated and shy. Your body too goes through pronounced cycles and changes. Celebrate these rhythms and embrace them as the essence of the lifeblood that courses through you. Female gynecology changes starting menses or menopause, for example or an issue for you. Make time to rest. Initiate steps to alleviate depression or lethargy. Lethargy. Uh, take better care of your body. Seek support for dealing with emotional crises. Allow yourself to grieve or take time off. Know that this lull won't last forever. A doorway of opportunity has opened up and you need to walk through it now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh yeah, it is Maeve. A Celtic goddess Maeve celebrates her femininity. Her sexual appetite is legendary, and she's been said to favor kings as her lovers. Legend says that Maeve invoked labor pains on an army seeking to invade her land, and then she demanded that the battle cease during her menstrual cycle. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. Call upon Maeve for relief from pain associated with feminine cycles, including menstruation, labor, and delivery, and menopause. Okay, all this feminine shit and cycles, and I was getting that pregnancy vibe. For some, that's definitely at play here, Okay. Keep in mind that could that could be it's time. Time is not linear. So it doesn't have to be in these next few days. It could be into like January or February. So let's read this last one. So if you don't want to be preggers, just know. I mean, actually, it seems like it'd be too late if this reading's resonating with you. All right. Yamania, golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Like the ocean, life moves in waves and tides. Timing is everything. So when an opportunity presents itself, you must dive in at the moment. Everything that you've done to prepare yourself will accompany you. Yet, if you hesitate or procrastinate, another opportunity will surely come along just as the tides wash in and out continuously. Like the ocean, life is rich with variety and beauty. Enjoy experiencing its various rhythms and allow all doubts to be washed away. Don't hesitate. This is the right thing to do. Your prayers are being answered. Get ready for a big and happy change. Celebrate your success. Know that you're qualified and ready for this new opportunity. Some of you, some of you, this is totally about being like pregnant. I can't get off of that being pregnant. I picked that up in the partner reading too, by the way. Um, she's an African and Brazilian goddess who's credited with creating the sea every December 31st. Oh shit, that might be an important date for you guys since we are in December here. December 31st, the other than New Year's Eve, obviously. People in Brazil celebrate Yamanya by casting white flowers and miniature boats upon the sea waters. You can work with Yamanya by putting a tiny boat into the water and asking her for a wish. If Yamanya grants your wish, her waves will swallow the miniature boat, and if she denies the wish, the boat will wash up to shore. Since the sea is the root of earth life, Yamanya's connection to to it make her a very powerful and nurturing mother goddess she's a protector supplier and one who grants wishes wow capricorns that's some intense ass energy very very feminine energy very fertile empress energy very pregnant energy just saying all right so let's go ahead hold on clyde clyde hey hey come on hey i know stop I love you, but stop it. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and pull some um, animal spirit cards for advice. I'll wrap this up, Cappies. Some of you, the situation has made you feel really unsexy. 
like really undesired and you're yearning for that, which I think is also why this energy is out here. Okay. It's picking up on that. Mister. I'm so sorry, guys. Come here. Oh, hold on. Are you going to be happy if I put you on my lap? You clearly want some attention. You clearly want some attention. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys, being a cat mom. It's okay. <laughs> He's been such a baby since I've been back. And I promise I'll go back to your reading in a minute, Cappies. Just trying to get him not, you know, tear apart the apartment. Are you better? Are you? <laughs> okay. You're, you okay? Okay, I think he's okay now. All right. Oh, that was very motherly. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna be pregnant. I'm just lying. Or you, or you're just finding out that you are. Any other advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any other advice for my cap? Wow, and he's totally fine. Yeah, some of you, this is definitely about being a mama or papa. I guess. I don't know why that feels weird to say. Any other advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Okay, he can tear up the rug. That's okay. Any other advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? If you're finding out you're pregnant and you have to leave someone behind, you might be just deciding to be a single parent and deciding that's what's best for you. Any other advice from my Capricorns regarding this spread? Woo. Let's see what we have here. Wow. If that doesn't say it all. Wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings and starfish spirit open to infinite possibilities. A lot of change and transformation, a lot of doors opening. It's a very seven of cups energy. Having a lot of opportunities at your feet by just taking that step to walk away. I was about to pick up other cards. To walk away from the old and the stuff that hasn't been serving you, the stuff that's kept you oppressed, feeling very unsexy, you're feeling very unwanted. It's a cycle that needs to end. It's a karmic loop that needs to end. And because of your doing it, feminines, know that there are going to be a lot of amazing opportunities for you as a reward for doing that, okay? Like, you want to feel sexy? You leave anyone who doesn't make you feel sexy, okay? Any other advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Oh, spider spirit, make your dreams real. 56, bring it down to 11. This is taking the action towards your manifestation and what you want in life. What do you want to create? What does your future look like? What does your ideal life look like? Start making those moves to do it, which is what you're doing with that two of wands energy and the chariot energy and the eight of wands. A lot of movement there, a lot. Any other advice for my Capricorns? Ah! Oh my gosh, this is getting better and better, Cappies. Any other advice for my Capricorns regarding the first half of December? Oh, beautiful. Cow spirit, the miracles are endless with panther spirit, reclaim your power. Master number 44 and then 15 breaking down to a six. A lot of balance, a lot of harmony you're walking into. Also abundance, the cow spirit is just that. It's abundance, it's blessings, it's gifts, and it's making you powerful because you are literally feminines. You're literally creating your dest creating your path, creating what you want in life, and you're leaving behind anything that doesn't give you that. And it's opening a lot of doors for you. Over energy, we do have vulture spirit. Nothing is wasted. 63 breaking down to a nine. Uh, this is usually an energy of cleaning. It's like very scorpionic to me. This is kind of a death process. It is. I mean, you're leaving behind something you didn't really want to, that you knew was in your highest good. That's hard. And in doing that, you are growing. You're having growth in your life and your power is back because of it, right? I keep getting drawn back to the word wasted. You didn't waste your time. Hold on. I feel like such a mother right now. This is so strange. Clyde. Clyde. Hey, 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 hey. Clyde. Hey, mister. Come here. Come here. Come over here. Thank you. Can you sit? Please. All the way. All the way. Thank you. Just stay right here. Feeling so motherly right now, it's not even funny. I almost never, I'm never that patient with, <laughs> I'm being honest. Um, you didn't waste your time, feminines. 
You didn't waste your time. Some of you might feel that way. You didn't. It was a learning lesson. You learned a lot from this and you're gaining a lot. Look at this shit. You're gaining a lot from, the, from this and it's a hard decision, but it's really important you do it. So congratulations, honestly, congratulations. Even if some of you are deciding to be single moms, congratulations, like it's an important move for you. It's gonna open so many doors and I think you're gonna feel even more powerful than you've ever felt before. And don't forget to harness these energies because it's gonna make you feel even more powerful, especially if you're an actual female, okay? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on uh, Patreon and Vimeo and Instagram and I will see you guys later. Instagram posts will resume most likely in January. I've got some surprises. I can't wait to share with you guys, but only until everything is like settled and finalized, okay? Um, anyway, I gotta go, but I love you guys and I hope you guys enjoyed, okay? Have a great night, Capricorns. Namaste.